I shot this video a few weeks ago, before the whole world went into lockdown because of the virus. Although it was a few weeks ago, I am already missing the mountains so much. But at least we all know that the mountains will still be there for us, once all this is over. Right now at least we can still spend time with our family, do what we can to help other people, and train for our projects. This experience reminds me of being deprived of being out in mountains because of injury in the past. And every time that's happened to me, I just remember how amazing it is that first day where you go back to the rocks and the mountains and actually start to climb again. Just how brilliant that feeling is. And I'm really looking forward to having that again, hopefully in the not too distant future. Hey folks, it's a lovely spring morning. Just heading up to Ben. Uh, everything looks in really good condition. I see a lot of a lot of ice, <laughs> and it's a beautiful still day. Quite warm in the sun. I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. I've just come up to try and enjoy some ice. Scotland really is absolutely magic at this time of year. We endure quite a long winter of some really poor weather, and uh, that does get a little bit frustrating. We see a lot of darkness, a lot of rain, a lot of wind, and it's kind of relentless. So it makes it all the more special when at some point during sometimes February, sometimes March, it all changes and we get a glorious morning like this. And we go out and enjoy the ice. Current Jerry Buttress up there, you can see the obvious ice wall in the centre, that's the shroud. Something that used to only come into condition quite rarely, um, but is obviously in excellent condition right now. That bowl above the shroud does avalanche a lot. Um, the weather's been very settled for the whole of yesterday and I think the day before as well. But you can, I don't know if you can make out this huge pile of avalanche debris at the bottom of the face. So today I'm thinking of going to the Breneva face actually. Snow should be nice and safe. Um, and so that could be a good choice. There's a great four called Moonwalk. Which should be nice to just angle up that. But we'll see. I'll take a stop once I'm up in the quarry and have another look. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. I also had a brilliant day yesterday. I was out on my boulder project at Rifttown. And I've been trying to do the crux move of the project for most of the winter. And I've not really been able to make much of an impression on it. Last night, I did the move for the first time, which was brilliant. I'm so delighted. So amazing to finally be moving on it. There's still like three moves to come in from the bottom and the last of those to get the undercut and stand up. Well, I can get the undercut, but I can only get it with three fingers. You needed to get it perfect with four and to be able to stand up. So I'm a long way off that, but I'm excited now to work on the next stage, which is trying to do that and get up into the crux move from the start. And then of course, if I manage to do it from the stand start, there's a roof start from further down, which I could then go on to try. That's a really hard project. Um, so one step at a time, but yeah, good times at the moment. Um, in the climbing at least. And uh, that does make up to a degree for uh, the problems that are starting to be created from coronavirus. It looks like the country is going to grind to a halt quite shortly. Anyway, right now I'm not going to think about that. I'm just going to enjoy the sunshine and ice. So now I'm up in Coriolis and um, it's a lot quieter around here. There's a, a few climbers on the Orion face. So I've come round into Coriolis and I think I'm going to head for a route called Moonwalk, grade four. Looks in really nice condition, plenty of ice. And it's also sunny around here still, which is lovely, quite alpine. I don't know if you can see that behind me, that's a that icicle, hanging icicle, is a route called the Snotter, which is a route I did about four or five years ago. Absolutely lovely, grade eight. It's great to be outside. Right, here we go, let's do some ice climbing. So I'm just on the Bruneva face. I'm just starting up the route to Moonwalk, Moonwalk, grade four. The sun's just come off the face, so the ice is quite plastic. It's almost a little bit too kind of hollow on the top, but I think it'll refreeze quite quickly now that sun's gone away. 
Yeah, it looks great. It's kind of steeper than it looks when you're out in the quarry. So it looks like it's a good fun section up ahead. So I'll put the camera on my helmet for that. Yeah, here we go. Okay, let's go. This next section will be the crux of the route. But if it looks good, so let's carry on. Yeah, as soon as you get out the sun, the ice is a bit better. So nice. And now I have one more little crux, which looks quite fun. And then I think we're must be getting quite close to the exit slopes. Get okay, onward. Exciting finish. I think I am near the top. So, five more minutes of concentrating. Of course, some crappy snow's to finish. So, do this all on my feet. Get some really good steps. This was a brilliant day out climbing, but I've never been someone that pays much attention to days out climbing in the past. What keeps me motivated for climbing is looking at all those images of those cliffs on Ben Nevis and thinking about all the projects that I know are there for me to try in the future. And although it's going to be a little while before I get the opportunity to go out and try them, there are things that I can do right now. I can do work today that means that when the mountains are open I will have time and space to go out and climb and I can also hang on my fingerboard and make my fingers strong enough to hold the holds on those projects when I get the chance. 